in the name of Malakath's third tusk are you? Don't you know this is sacred ground? Besides, it's also one of the most dangerous places in all of Rothgar. You shouldn't be wandering around up here. Oh, she did, did she? I hope you know what you're getting into. Harpies and ogres are bad enough, but the true challenge of sorrow is the mountain itself. The wind cuts like a sword, and the freezing mist blinds you. But that's not the worst. Avalanches! Sorrow wields her snow and ice with terrible precision. I've seen strong orcs swept right off the side like scoring a slaughter in seven-pick knockdown. We tried three times and lost most of our expedition. We're all that's left. To be honest, I'm not sure. We barely made it this far before we got separated from the others. If you could look for our companions, that would be helpful. Regardless, we have to find Turug's shrine or all these sacrifices will be for nothing. The good orcs, each and every one of them. Expert climbers. But Sorrow isn't an ordinary mountain. Best way to find them? They should have placed markers to indicate avalanche areas. Just follow the markers. Sorrow may not be the tallest mountain in Tamriel, but it's certainly one of the deadliest. That's why the ancient orcs built memorials to their champions on its slopes. The higher the location of the tomb, the greater the sacrifice and prestige. We're looking for the shrine of the great orc hero, Tora Groegron. Legend says that Torug's shrine sits at the very top of the mountain as befits the founder of the original Orsinium. But it's so high up that nothing can survive there. Extremely. We've already tried to get up there three times. We lost the rest of the expedition and had to turn back before we barely got out of the base camp. But the danger will be worth it if we could find Torug's legendary relics. I work for Orsinium's newly established museum. I'm their resident expert on the time of Torug, so the museum sent me to assist Lady Laurent and her manservant. I always dreamed of visiting the shrine, so I jumped at the opportunity. Her reputation brought her to the attention of the museum, and she loves digging around in old tombs. She has a particular interest in an ancient fragment that talks about Sorrow's Kiss. She believes it has something to do with Torug's shrine. At first, we got along fine. We both love history and exploring ancient sites. But the woman has been driving me crazy. She lacks the fundamental reverence for the past that separates a scholar from a grave robber. I just don't trust her judgment. Fair enough. Stevens, don't you dare put down that firewood. It won't do us any good if it gets wet. You make a sound point, my lady. of sorrow's insidious climb. With your help, I hope we can make it farther up the mountain this time. If all goes well, we should reach Tarig's shrine before Stibben sets out our evening meal. I never could stand cold weather. It chills me to the bone. I feel like a frozen icicle. More of that, Stibbins. More of that.
I knew this mountain was going to be the death of us. No, don't waste your time. I'm done for. An avalanche broke both my legs, but I no longer feel any pain. Sorrow is a harsh mistress, and her embrace is cold and deadly. The others, they went on ahead to seek shelter. Don't look so shocked. I'm dying. If they tried to help me, none of us would have survived. Go. Find them. They need your help. More than I... Dead just as I feared. Wait, what's this? Fa 
fascinating. Most of the monuments up here are inscribed with three stanza epitaphs. It was a common practice. This rubbing appears to be Tarug's first stanza. It's written in Old Orkish, proclaiming the memorial's inaccessibility. They found Torug's shrine! Well, obviously, they found the shrine higher up on the mountain. As to why they came here to die, I have no idea. Maybe the cold or lack of supplies drove them down. Or they were coming back to meet us, let us know that they reached the shrine. Let me translate this rubbing. No looters, no lesser orcs. Remarkable! We should try to find the other two stanzas. If I can read the entire epitaph, it might point us to the location of the armlet of Torug. After that, we'll see. Those poor orcs! Stibbons, be a deer and bury them. Don't be ridiculous. They died well. Leave them where they fell. Leave them? Out in the open? How barbaric! Orcs don't bury their dead. And these are the first orcs to rest on sorrow in generations. We won't steal that honor from them. Fine. You are the expert, after all. Right. <laughs> One heck of a fight up here. Huh? 